body language expert Tanya Raymond has said while Prince Harry has spent nearly four decades with royal status, his public appearances have betrayed a vulnerability about being in the spotlight. As the estranged prince and his wife Meghan Markle spend time in the UK alongside Prince William and Kate, the Princess of Wales, Ms Raymond suggested it was the Cambridges, and particularly Kate, that appeared more comfortable with their roles. Ms Raymond said, he always does this, that's a comfort level thing to cross his arms and when we cross our arms across our body, it's to help us feel less vulnerable. When I see this, I don't see discomfort on Harry's part, but I feel vulnerability. When you look at Kate, she is all royal. She is the one. So looking at Kate, you have to recognize this is kind of what she's been primed for. I don't think that Terry's a question of who's better at it. I think it's more who is more comfortable being in that skin, and that for me is Kate. Prince Harry's crossed arm betrays his vulnerability, says body language expert, Image, Getty, the former Fab Four survey tributes to the Queen outside Windsor Castle, Image, Getty, Prince Harry's acrimonious split from the royals two years ago took its toll on the family, in particular Prince William. The relationship between the brothers was reportedly strained following a series of royal revelations from Prince Harry. But after the Queen's death, the pair have been spotted side by side on multiple occasions, providing a much desired picture of unity in the family. Over the weekend, the two brothers and their respective wives appeared together to greet well wishers in Windsor. Read more Prince Harry's uniform ban follows precedent Queen herself imposed, reveal Harry and William walk side by side during the procession of the Queen's coffin, image, Getty, Harry and William are separated during Prince Philip's funeral in 2021, image, Getty, the formerly called Fab Four arrived together in a car and visited Windsor Castle to glimpse the rows of flowers and tributary messages laid by the front gates in memory of the late Queen Elizabeth II. The group then returned to the car and traveled to their respective cottages, which are just half a mile away from each other on the Windsor estate. And on Wednesday, Harry and William were seen walking side by side during the procession of the Queen's coffin to Westminster Hall. The scene, though sadly reminiscent of the funeral procession of their mother Princess Diana in 1997, was an altogether more positive one compared to the images of Prince Philip's funeral last year, where the brothers were separated. Don't miss, Charles faces backlash as Andrew and Harry remain stand-ins for King, report, royal truce as William and Kate join Meghan and Harry for dinner after, reveal Kate and William poised to extend Harry a birthday olive branch, reveal, Harry and Meghan had to extend their stay in the UK following the death of the Queen, image, Getty, trending nonetheless. Prince Harry, according to body language experts such as Ms. Raymond, still appears to be uncomfortable. Harry and Meghan arrived in the UK two weeks ago for a succession of charity events and to celebrate the one-year-to-go event for the Invictus Games in Dusseldorf, their stay was extended after the Queen died in Balmoral a week into their trip. They had not intended to remain in the UK for this long, and it is only the second time the Sussexes have been in the UK together since leaving for California. During the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, they only attended one event in an official capacity and were kept apart from the Cambridges. Read next, Meghan's special birthday gift for Harry had poignant meaning Prince Harry experiencing very lonely time, royal expert claims Piers Morgan rages at guest in explosive Meghan Markle race row William and Harry won't ever be the friends they once were Prince Harry's final birthday message from Queen Elizabeth II.